no tomorrow Ooh, We came on the night Don't worry about a thing Don't worry about a thing Don't What's worry up, about YouTube? You guys, Zero Zero signing in once again, and today I have for you guys a wall breach on Genesis. Now, guys, this is definitely game breaking, so I do hope that Infinity Ward does see this video so we can fix it, but I am going to tell you how to get into it anyway. To practice the glitch, just go into private match, pick the FTL payload, and for the trader ability, pick FTL jump. Make sure you have overclock on your class so your payload recharges faster so you can do the glitch over and over and keep practicing. Once you are finished creating your class, you want to go over to this spot of the map on Genesis and wall run across this. Then you're going to boost jump over to the next wall run and then wall run that as well. Make sure your jetpack uh, meter is 100% blue, otherwise you won't be able to make it all the way on top of this building. Once you're on top, after you wall run across that, you want to slowly back off the edge and then boost right into the side of the wall as I do here. Once you've completed all these steps, you are free to roam around the glitch and do whatever you want. I suggest not doing this online because there is a chance you can get banned, but it is extremely fun to do it in private matches with friends, especially if you're playing hide and go seek or Michael Myers. I'm going to suggest to Infinity Ward to put a death barrier on top of the building where you first enter the glitch because without the first part of the glitch, there's no way you would actually be inside this part of the building right now if there was a barrier which did not allow you to ftl jump on the building in the first place you would never get into the place where i am now right now i'm just exploring the glitch you can shoot out this but if you guys really want to play the game legitly and have fun i suggest not doing this this takes all the fun out of the gameplay and it kind of just robs other people of their fun as well we are now going to watch a video by one of my subscribers where he drops a sniper nuclear within this glitch so this does prove that it is possible to do this glitch online but there is a giant chance that you will be reported and you will get banned so i would do it at your own discretion decided to blur out his name to protect him overall from infinity ward and other players that watch this video that would like to report him but it is a really good video so i do encourage you guys to watch all the way through i'm not going to be commentating throughout the entire nuclear gameplay which is his 30 kill streaks and in this game the metal is actually a juggernaut metal unlike black ops 2 but again it's very entertaining at times i will inject crucial information into the gameplay which things you need to know right now he's doing the part where he gets into the glitch, he FTL jumps, his crosshair is looking at the top of the building, now he's looking to go into the side of the building, and bam, he's done. Now a thing to remember here is you can still die, you are not 100% invincible, but it's going to be extremely hard for people to kill you. Now in some places you actually are invincible, and hit markers will actually do no damage to you, which is pretty The spot in which the player is in right now is the most dangerous part of the glitch, because if you're a regular player and look up to the right where those bar things were, you can actually see the player inside the building and easily shoot back through these little slots. The reason I'm telling you this is that if you see somebody else using this glitch unresponsibly, which is not in private match, you can easily shoot back up through the bars and kill them and get it out, and then just guard the entrance way to the glitch, which would be that wall run right over there. Currently, the player is actually restricting his movements throughout the glitch and lessening his mobility by not going into the second half in the tutorial part of the video which is in the beginning where i showed you actually how to do the glitch i actually went into the second half of the glitch where you can see more than half the map right here he's restricted to only seeing a quarter of the map i don't know if he's doing it on purpose because this is the side that's easier to hide on where people can't actually see you in the glitch or he's doing this because he didn't actually know that you can get into the second half let me be transparently clear about this. I do not endorse or like when people use glitches like this because A, it breaks the game and it also takes fun away from the person doing the glitch and the people he's actually affecting that are not inside the glitch or do not know this. I'm doing this video to spread knowledge about this glitch so Infinity Ward can fix it immediately because this is a truly game breaking glitch and I know that there are others out there which I will bring videos about to you too. Hopefully Infinity Ward sees this video and definitely fixes this glitch so enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll interject some of the information of different things I want to talk about it throughout. Enjoy. Support is active. 
this is how the interjections are going to feel like when I put in information. Instead of doing a cut commentary and robbing you guys of some of the gameplay, I'm just going to randomly butt in at different times to give you information. This kid right here is actually trying to shoot the guy in the glitch, but didn't even get hit markers on him, thereby him being almost technically god mode in this part of the glitch. Again, if he goes in the second part of the glitch where he goes down into the where the little bars are, you can shoot up back in between the bars and kill them. player is probably using overkilled snipers for two reasons. One, you cannot get out of the glitch once you're in the glitch, which means that restricts how much ammo you can actually have while you're in it. Using overkill allows you to bring two weapons into the glitch so you wouldn't have to reload or jump down to get more ammo. Even if you could jump down and get more ammo, you risk dying on your way back up. Using overkill snipers was not only smart due to the ammo that you can bring up here, it's also the kill time. As soon as you see a player and you aim in with your sniper rifle, it's mainly a one-shot kill, which means there's not going to be many players escaping your line of sight before you can kill them, thereby increasing your time to kill rate, which means that you're one step closer to gaining the juggernaut or nuclear medal. When the gameplay was slowed down less than a second ago, you saw a medal pop up that said Juggernaut. That's the 30 kill streak medal in this game. It's not actually called a nuclear medal, it's a Juggernaut medal, but most people like to refer it as a nuclear medal. Every kill he earns beyond this point will now grant him an unstoppable medal, just like in other Call of Duties. It's weird to think of how when you gain a nuclear medal, you actually don't get a nuke or a deatomizer bomb, which I'm guessing is why they actually call it a Juggernaut medal in this game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope Infinity Ward ends up watching this video to fix this glitch because, as I said multiple times throughout it, it is totally game-breaking and I really hate being killed by people inside this glitch. That about concludes it. Uh, I might make this a series about glitches that Infinity Ward needs to fix and hopefully they listen to me and fix it. Till next time, this is Eagle Eye 0 signing out. Peace.